Greetings and salutations, everybody. If you want to learn how to make the super cool DIY CD mosaic journal, please keep on watching. Here is the stuff you'll need. A paper or plastic plate to put the CDs on. DVDs or CDs, new or old. A journal. Scissors. E6000 glue. And a cupcake holder or container. I chose these DVDs because I specifically um, liked the purpley blue background. I'm not entirely sure that all CDs or DVDs have this, but still. Also, use old or new um, CDs and make it a recycled project. I just don't want to use any old DVDs. <laughs> First, before we do any of the mosaic tiles, we need to separate the two layers of CD. So, to do that, you have to cut down the middle of the CD on both sides. You don't have to go straight, like, all the way through. You could take sides yeah what I'm doing right here and then before we separate that as you see where it bubbles up between the two layers from cutting it we have to roll the DVD or CD around just to loosen up those two layers and then after that it loosens it up a little bit and we need to pry those two layers apart so you can use your nail or you can do what I'm doing which is these awesome weird scissors I think they're like meat cutting scissors anyways but what you have to do is you have to get in between the layer roll it around a little bit more if you don't feel like it's going to be that clean of a transfer and you're going to pry those two layers apart and it is completely fine if you do not have a completely clean transfer on the main CD, it's fine if you have some of it on the clear part, because all you're going to do is you're just going to salvage as much as you can from that. So let's do it again, the part where it bubbled up between the two layers as you cut it in half. We're going to roll it around just to loosen up the two layers, make sure it's as clean as it can be. And then you're going to pry those two layers apart with any form of scissor or your nail to wedge between those two layers. So what I'm doing is the scissors. And I'm trying to get between those two layers so I can start prying them apart. I'm shoving it in between there. Oh, that was sexual. <laughs> and then I'm prying apart those two layers of CD. We really want the part that is the super, super shiny part. That reminds me of the earrings from Xenon, the first one, Girl 21st Century. I believe that's what it was, a little disc earring that she had. And so this part right here, like I said, it's totally fine if you don't get a full clean transfer. All you're doing with this part is just cutting the CD into strips and um, trying to save as much as the silver um, shiny part as much as you possibly can. <laughs> then I'm just repeating that on the other half of the CD that we cut in half. And then with this part I'm just cutting off the clear part where you would attach to a DVD or a CD player because we do not need that at all. And right here I've already cut up a lot of CDs just to make sure it doesn't take me three hours on film to do it. So we're going to do it one more time. All right here I'm just cutting up the mosaic pieces. It, there's no rhyme or reason to the shape, just do it. And so we're doing it again. I cut one CD in half, rolled it around, and now I'm prying the part, the two layers that bubbled up on the edges to make sure that's where we need to start prying apart the two layers. And I'm shoving a wedge in between those two layers, and I'm going to start peeling apart. And this one was not the most prettiest transfer at all, because it transferred in the part that we don't need. But again, it's totally fine. Salvage as much as you can. Next, we're getting our E6000 glue, and I'm putting it in my cupcake holder. I chose a cupcake holder because I could just throw it away after. And then I got my journal. This journal is my moleskin leather journal. I still use it all the time. I doodle in it. I write things I have to do. So it, it's a journal I use every single day. So I want to make it super cute and pretty. And if you're using leather like me, we're going to need to use E6000. First, before we do any mosaic, we need to do the edge of it. So when we start putting or start filling in the mosaic, it will be like a puzzle piece. And if you're using E6000 like me, which you should if you're using a leather journal like me, you need, I would recommend using your finger just to spread the glue thinly out because uh, E6000 works so much better when it's not super gloopy. It works better when it's a very, very thin layer. Kind of like uh, cement glue or whatever it's called. You know what I mean? And then I just fill it in just like a jigsaw puzzle. And this is the finished product, you guys. It's super cool. And if you use E6000 like me, it can get a little gunky on the CDs. It's fine. It dries. Mine dried in two hours. And you can just rub it all off. 
and this is the coolest thing. There's the possibilities are endless with this. Use older new CDs, it doesn't matter. I would use old to recycle, but I didn't want to use anything. And you can use a table. You could do this at a table or shirt or shoes or a purse, a wall even. I'll put some links below to some of the super cool stuff that I found online. Alright you guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more material coming from me, go ahead and click that subscribe button, you guys. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next video, which is a tutorial. Alright you guys, I'm going to go write this journal now. Okay, okay, bye.